three, two, one. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is a beautiful weekend in sunny South Florida. Your girl is actually chilling by herself today. That is so rare. Like I hate being by myself. Benny had things to do and I had some running around to do. So I'm gonna go to West Elm cause I'm looking for a couple of decor pieces for the apartment. And right beside it is Pottery Barn and Crate and Barrel. I'm probably gonna skip over Pottery Barn, uh, but I will go right to Crate and Barrel after as well. Also Container Store is across the street. There might be a couple organizational things I need in there, not sure. And then down the street, is Nordstrom Rack. I didn't find my sunglasses that I was looking for uh, from my previous vlog. So actually I should have got those freaking Dior's but I did it and they were such a good price. But hopefully I find something in Nordstrom Rack today. We'll see. Yeah, I thought I would take you guys along with me. I already got my coffee, my caramel macchiato, extra caramel with almond milk per usual. Um, and I actually threw on like a little half lash today. You guys see that? I thought it was like instead of throwing on like a full lash it's like more natural I guess um I don't know I was just I just felt like being a little extra <laughs> y'all can spend the day with me and then we'll see what happens from there I'm gonna go to Crate and Barrel first and then I'll go to West Elm and I love my sparkly shoes you guys my sparkly slippers got these i think these are steve madden i don't know but i had to have them i've had them for a while but i think i've worn them like twice look how sparkly look how pretty oh, i freaking love cream yeah, girl i would have went to cv2 but they're way down in miami and i didn't feel like driving that far so here we are how adorable is this bitch you guys that is really nice and these sculptures down here Wow. Let's see what I can find. I really like this too, you guys. I've seen this a lot and I think it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of cool little pieces over here. But I'm looking for something more black and white. This is kind of nice too. Yeah. This is cool. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, this is gorgeous. You guys, this is four ninety nine. What mirror is this? This is called the Edge. This is me. Hi. Um. This is a very much nicer mirror than the Hovit at Ikea, and it's huge. I'm wearing my bag from Target for once. This is really nice, you guys. Look how big it is. This thing is at least eight feet tall. What is this? Stuff like this you can find in home goods all day. It's a little vibe. I definitely want this though. This is a whole vibe, you guys. I'm dying. I'm absolutely dying over this. Oh, even by that picture, it's beautiful. Mm. You guys, I'm gonna grab this because it's literally the last one in the entire store. But look, I found these candle trimmers too, and they're gold. I don't know how much they are. They can't be any more than $20, but I thought these were so cute. So I'm gonna get it because it's important, I guess, to trim your candles. I don't
that's beautiful. We already see such beautiful stuff. There's some black and white kind of plain. change the accessories in our bathroom in my bathroom like Asia's bathroom is, is good but damn it says no u-turn you guys saw the white vape am i in the right i'm at target this is not where i need to be. i mean i love target but this is not where i need to be i did not mean to come to target okay let me hit y'all right back because I need to know where I'm going. I got that white vase from Crate and Barrel. So I'm looking for either a gold or a black or a gray, something like that to go beside it. You guys know I like my <laughs> tall and small as I like to call it. So, or maybe I'll find something in Nordstrom Rack. I don't know if they have like home decor stuff, but like literally right by Nordstrom Rack, there's a home goods in the same plaza. So let me check out Nordstrom and see what's popping in there. You guys, I need to get my nails done so bad. Look how freaking grown out they are. Do you see this? And this one, like I literally, if you could see it's like lifting. I jammed it this morning while I was trying to dig my freaking jeans out because where I have my jeans and my sweatpants, it's like so cramped because I keep buying stuff but not getting rid of stuff and I need to get rid of stuff. Yeah, but I'll probably get these done this week sometime. Um, all right, let's go to Nordstrom.
one. Nordstrom rack for like two hours that bag you guys saw that was a Kurt Geiger bag I, I like Kurt Geiger bags but I didn't really like I wasn't head over heels for that one so I didn't want to spend $120 for something that I wasn't like obsessed with so I just got a couple things now as I told you guys I'm gonna go to home goods but it's like a home goods Marshalls and sometimes like this Marshalls we have in like high-end designer stuff so let's see what i could find nordstrom rack didn't really have like much home stuff i was looking for stuff for benny too um but as far as like designer shoes and whatnot they didn't really have much so i'll go check out marshall's and see what they have sorry if i look crazy right now but that mask be removed look at this line <laughs> that mask be removing my makeup it's like starting to get dark i didn't even realize what time it was i've been out for a few hours now actually not even really that long i think i left my house at like three and it's like seven right now so oh put my seatbelt on all right guys what's oh girl they looking good um it's a freaking love home good it's not like i need anything else for the house but like i do i think i really really want that mirror at west elm i know benny is probably gonna think i'm crazy because it was 500 dollars and the ikea hovit is only i'm going um it's only 130 so that's like it's a big ass difference but did you guys see that freaking mirror what was that crate and barrel yeah that was crate and barrel oh and if you think about it like i'm gonna have that mirror for like ever so it's kind of like an investment right maybe i'll try to spin it that way we'll see so see how i told you guys like nordstrom rack is like over there that's where i just came from and home goods marshall's is right here so let's see what they got in store for your girl see this is what happened when benny leaves me alone or when any man leaves their wife alone or your girl or whatever this is exactly what happens they go and they spend money they shouldn't let's go spend some money y'all okay literally my last stop for real for real like for the night like i'm done oh marshall's was a bus by the way there was literally nothing in that marshall's when i go to guys Oh my gosh, wait. Look how cute. Oh my god, I need a pair. I need these. Where are these? Where are they? I don't think they have any more. Dang. I like this tan one. That's super cute. I have a sparkly one like that from them. And this is adorable too. This color, this color for me. I see something so cute. Look at this bag, how adorable. Oh my God, this color. Look how cute this is. That's adorable. 
This is so cute. This one's only 25. But I like shoulder bag. I don't love it. So you guys, I'm finally back home. I figured. So let me show y'all what I got today before I forget to do it. And I end up doing it in the next video like I've been. Um, what time is it? Oh my god. You guys, it's actually like 10 20 at night i didn't think i would be out all day but i've been out all day so first store y'all saw me go to was crate and barrel and uh, here we go here's the bag um crate and barrel is not exact keep looking over here but you guys are over here um crate and barrel is not exactly that close to me i mean it's not that far it's probably like 25 minutes or so um but i don't make it out there often so I actually think I might need to go back because this is some other stuff that I wanted. So I'm trying to like upgrade some of our decor. My style, I guess you could say, has changed a little bit. So I'm looking for pieces that are a little bit more, I don't want to say expensive looking, but more luxurious items versus glam um, and more timeless pieces. As you guys saw, the first item is this beautiful, beautiful vase right here. I love this vase. So I think this thing was, um, how much was it? This was $79.95 at Crate and Barrel, but you see how big it is, right? And it's like white, white, white. But I just love this so much. I thought it was very modern and classy and classic looking and very luxurious. It doesn't look like a cheap vase that you can buy from like, I don't know, Ross or something. So yeah, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I didn't get too much from Crate and Barrel. The last thing I got was this um, candle wick trimmer. So I've been really hesitant to get a candle wick trimmer because I honestly didn't see the point of them. Um, but this was like gold and beautiful. Like, look at this. This is just so pretty. <laughs> so and how much was this? This was $12, whatever, $12. I'm not crying over $12. So yeah, it's just a candle whip trimmer. I know you can get these off of Amazon too, but I mean, this was right there and I thought it was cute. And you know, it's actually good to, what did, what did I read? Like avoid the black smoke that can come out of candles when you first light them. You know how sometimes they have, if they're like a really cheap candle, then they have all that like black smoke that comes out at first. So this supposedly helps avoid it when you cut the wick off the top of the candle. Um, and sometimes even with the Bath and Body Works candles, like literally those are the only candles I get because I feel like those are the only ones that smell. Sometimes they get these little crunchy black balls on like the tip of the wick. So boom, booyah. No more crunchy black balls <laughs> on the tip of the wick. I'll cut them off with this. So that was it from Crate and Barrel. Next, uh, you guys saw that I went to Nordstrom Rack and I got a few things. So the main thing I went for was sunglasses. So I was successful in finding a nice pair of sunglasses for a very good price. And I wanted this particular um, shape, like that square shape. So these are Saint Laurent. Um, I don't know if you can, well, on the, <laughs> on the back right here, you can see why I sell. It also says Saint Laurent right there on the side, but I wanted some really dark shades. These will just be for when I kind of want to go incognito. I don't want to put on any makeup or show my face. These are the perfect shades for that. Oh, look at these. Even with my lashes, they fit you guys. I didn't get to see them that well in the store. Yes, these are cute. I feel like I want to go back and get those Dior's I saw last weekend. Um, at, what was that, Bloomingdale's? No, I think that was off the fifth. Uh, but yeah, these are my incognitos. And these were only, these were $119.97, so 120 bucks. It came with this St. Laurent case is what they gave me. And it's, um, is this a magnet? Yeah, it's a magnet. And it came with the glasses cleaner, the St. Laurent glasses cleaner quad. It does say St. Laurent on it right there as well. My nails, y'all, don't mind my nails. And it's just this cute little leather case that they go in like so how adorable i wish it was like the hard case like the tom ford cases but this will do 
Next, I got, I love Philosophy's Purity Skincare Line, and I always switch between their soap and, or their facial cleanser and other cleansers. So because I had it at Nordstrom Rack, um, I picked it up. It's usually $24, and they had it on sale for $16.97, so I just grabbed one. I love the way this smells. It smells so fresh and clean, and I feel like it gets my face squeaky clean as well, and it doesn't break me out or anything like that. So I got the cleanser. This is just the eight ounce, but this will literally last me a very long time. And then I also got their micellar water. This is a 3.4 ounce. I've never tried their micellar water, but I was going to pick up a Garnier one at Walmart tomorrow anyway, but I saw this and I'm like, this is better. So I'll try theirs. This is normally $12 and I got it for $6.97. I got a pair of earrings by Madewell. These are normally $28. I got them for $14.97. They're just these gold hoops right here. I thought that these were so cute and they're not like ginormous. They're like a good size, but I just like the detail on them, how they have like the two kind of two looking hoops in there. Uh, but yeah, I thought these were cute. And then lastly, I just got this really freaking cute top. I don't know the brand. Uh, the brand is, what is it? Elodie? But it's normally $22.97. Oh no, it is $22.97. What? Okay, the top was $22.97. This white cropped, kind of cropped, not really cropped, but shorter top. But I especially liked it because it had these shoulder pad details in it. That is everything I got from Nordstrom Rack. Y'all, Target. Target gets me every time. <laughs> so I went to Target to look for, what was I looking for? Um, I went to Target to look for a basket, a freaking fruit basket out of all things. And instead of just a basket, I ended up with a basket full of shit. So I'll start off, well, you know what? I should probably start off with the basket first. <laughs> I freaking love and hate Target. I have a love-hate relationship with Target, my God. Let me fix the girls. This top, I got this from H&M for like $7, I think. I thought it was so cute. It makes me feel so good, girl, yeah. All right, so I got this threshold serving bowl um, from Target. This was, I think, oh, where's the price tag? $13, so. I got this basically to put on my kitchen counter. So it's seagrass, hand-woven, and has a sturdy metal frame. It's a pretty good size. My lemons, avocado, and bananas, I'm sure will look beautiful in this. All right, so next I had to try these because literally everybody says they work. Um, so these are the Mighty Patches for blemishes, pimples, pretty much. Um, I don't get them often, but sometimes when my period's about to come, I get like a really big ass pimple somewhere on my face. I just wanted to see how well these work. And I think these were only, um, these are only $7. And this comes with six original and six invisible for day. I don't think I would go out with these in the daytime. Like I don't want bandages on my face. People don't think something wrong with me. Um, so yeah. I got these to try. My hair gets pretty oily after about a week. So um, I did a little Google, Google search on a good dry shampoo for dark hair that doesn't leave residue because I have the Batiste um, dry shampoo, but literally it leaves that white cast and then it starts getting flaky and then it looks like my hair's dirty when it's not. So I read that the Dove one was a uh, pretty good dry shampoo for dark hair. So this one is the one for volume and fullness, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, well, yeah. Well, that's the formula for this one is just volume and fullness. I wonder what it smells like. Okay, I don't feel like spraying it right now, but supposedly this one is good for dark hair. So we'll see about that. Not right this second. I also got, I couldn't resist. I also got these earrings. These are by the brand A New Day and these were only $7.99. I love me some gold hoops, obviously. Uh, but I just like the detail of these. I thought these were just 
so adorable. Do you guys see that? Let me try to like, there you go. See, I kind of, I like the detail of that. Like it reminds me of earrings from like 80s, early 90s. I'm an 80s baby, yes I am. So yeah, this kind of reminds me of those old school kind of earrings. But again, like this size hoop, I just think is perfect and i just thought these were so cute and they were only seven dollars next from target i always stop by their clothing sale section of course because their stuff goes on sale pretty fast after it's on the floor for i feel like two three weeks all of a sudden you see it on the sales rack so i never saw this shirt before but i thought this was cute it was only 12.49 and you're gonna love it or hate it but i love it for spring i love this color and i especially love this neckline, do you guys see that? And I love detailed sleeves. So this kind of has this like, it has like a puffy sleeve and then it goes in with the, what do you call this, ruching? Um, Yeah, ruching here on the shoulders and then here around the wrist. So this part's gonna be nice and fluffy on the arm. I think that's gonna be so cute. But I think for my more casual days but I still want to look somewhat put together this is like a dressier top I could put on and I just thought this was so cute and plus it was only freaking $12.49 so I said yes not to the dress to the shirt <laughs> lastly y'all know Target in their pajamas Target has like very good pajamas so I saw these sets by stars above and I could not freaking resist so and they are the softest things. I don't know if they're satin or like what material this is, but they are so soft. But look at this. It's like this purple marble print. I thought like this, these were just so pretty. They're like hella see-through, kind of, sort of, not really, but they feel like satin. And I just thought these were so cute. So these are the shorts. And of course I had to get the matching top. They had two different types of tops, but I live in South Florida and the top most of the time. So I got the spaghetti version of the top. So this is the front of it. And this is the back. It has this cute little detail on the back like that. And yeah, so I got this. It's the softest thing ever. And I also, they had it in like that navy blue and like this really pretty light nude color. So I had to have these two. Um, I got a small in both sets because Target stuff be running kind of big. The bottoms were $12.99, so I had to get this color. I think this is gonna look so classy and luxurious, darling. And I also got, um, again, the matching top to it, the spaghetti top, because the other top was just like a t-shirt with like a little folded sleeve thing here. But like I said, I live in South Florida. so. I got the spaghetti top instead and this one has like the little gold hardware on it and I just thought these were so cute. Oh, the tops were $12.99 as well. So $13.13, 13, about $26. Oh, y'all, ladies. Matter of fact, I'm gonna actually show you guys this because if y'all got a man and he got a beard, Benny has a full beard and I love it. Cremo makes some amazing products for beards that smell so good good so my favorite scent from them for like their beard conditioner and scruff and beard oil is bourbon but y'all today at target i saw this scent and I, I i already know i had to have it girl it is the palo santo scent this must be brand new because i've never seen palo santo from them but this is the beard wash and softener which benny uses in the shower and i know it's gonna smell so good especially when we go to sleep and i'm like laying all right here on him like to smell that it's just like mm, it smells so okay <laughs> let me calm down um also they had the beard oil to it so naturally i had to get it for him um all right y'all so that's it for today today is it's pretty late it's now 10 45 i'm gonna hop my ass in the shower and chill and uh tomorrow's a new day and i just have to do like grocery shopping Trader Joe's and Walmart and Publix. Those are the three places I go. Walmart because they sell everything cheaper. So like, why wouldn't I save my money and go there? I know a lot of people hate Walmart just because they don't want to deal with the hustle and bustle of Walmart and going into such a big ass store sometimes when you just need a few things. But 
when I go there, I go like full on grocery shopping. Like my cart is freaking full. So we'll see. Um, so yeah, until tomorrow, good night. Thank you for coming along with me and keeping me company today since I was by myself. And I'm like never by myself. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye guys. It's a beautiful day. And we're getting gold ice cream and boba. Four, three, two, one. time so on top of it he got crushed graham crackers fruity pebbles condensed milk and whipped cream mm. banana. and banana and banana <laughs> so let's see how it tastes that's a lot of ice cream does it taste as good as it sounds with all that yummy stuff in it mm -hmm. for real <laughs> It is good. I like it. It's like sweet, like a milky sweet, but the fruity pebbles add that little bit of fruitiness, and I like fruitiness. So you guys, <laughs> hold on, sorry. I got boba for the first time. Well, a bubble tea. So I got the mango milk tea with dragon fruit boba. I don't think I've ever had bubble tea before. Not that I remember, but I'm thinking because I'm Filipino, I had to have tried it at some point in my life, but I just don't remember. So it doesn't look very appetizing, but let's see how it is. Here we go. Okay, I thought I would like it because I really like Thai tea. If you go to a Thai restaurant, like you have to get Thai tea. It's just sweet tea and milk, but it's like orange. I don't know why it's orange, but I love Thai tea. It tastes, Look, I got a ball. It's a dragon fruit. Uh -uh. Maybe I just haven't had the right kind of boba tea. I'm gonna take your mask. Found some lashes, classic Ardell with these for $7.99. But I got these because I'm gonna cut them in half and just add the end parts to my lashes when I don't feel like having like a full crazy lash. But now I'm looking for something for Sebastian, of course. Like, of course and i didn't bring him home anything yesterday and i felt so bad because he sure enough was looking so Look at all these toys. You have to de <laughs> decide which one. Where's Sebastian? Look. Okay. I know you know this is me. This is me all day, obviously. There's these donuts because they're squeaky. You know, he would like and they're like big enough where he like, you know, he likes to toss that shit around. I this is y'all. Y'all. Y'all know me in uniforms. Um, you know, St. Patty's Day. <laughs> uh, a bunch of rainbows. Yeah. It did? Yeah. When was it? And then look, I know he has a thousand of these, but it has little sharks. And I kind of like these because we can put other toys in it, kind of. So this one? Yeah, he likes digging in there. For I know, I know. Haha, <laughs> Sebastian, we got you, buddy. We got you. 
hi so i did a terrible job vlogging because well my when we go out in public i just use my phone and a lot of times that's just a way to disguise that you're like not recording for whatever purposes most of the time they won't bother you if you have your phone if you have an actual camera then people are more likely to be like oh you can't record in here but if you're on your phone you can just say you're on facetime or whatever so i usually just take my phone when we're out and about plus the iphone has a 4k camera so like why wouldn't i it's a thousand dollar camera technically right my phone ran out of space <laughs> i'm really crappy at taking stuff off my phone and putting it on the computer or the like external drive or whatever so anyway we're back home we went to tj home goods and walmart and city furniture um i know all this i'm sorry and we went to city furniture um because as you guys know i'm looking for bedroom furniture but i might just settle for this set at ikea because number one it's just so inexpensive and number two most of the items are in stock so anyway let me show y'all what i got from walmart our groceries i guess so let me start off with the non-grocery things walmart has literally the best cotton rounds um I think they're the best because they don't shed. A lot of these cotton rounds, like the Target ones and all that, they shed, but these don't shed, and I think they're only like 98 cents, so. Um, I got some Downy Unstoppables because, oh, let me show y'all. I got those because I'm no longer going to use dryer sheets. Sebastian, this is not a toy. <laughs> I got these dryer balls from Amazon, and it came in a pack of six, and they are extra large, 100% New Zealand wool. I'll link them down below. Um, so basically, these are to take the place of dryer sheets. Number one, so you're not throwing out dryer sheets all the time. It's much better for the environment. And you can reuse and reuse and reuse these balls forever. So they look like, if you guys have never heard of dryer balls, <laughs> bash, no. They look like this. They're big wool balls that look like this. So basically the purpose of them is when you throw them in the dryer, you put them in the dryer with your clothes and they like lift the clothes up and allow the air to flow more throughout the clothes, therefore drying them in half the time. So I'm not gonna use dryer, ball, uh, dryer sheets anymore. That's what the unstoppables for are so the clothes can still smell good because the wool balls are not scented, obviously. So yeah, I got these. This smells really good. I wish you guys could smell it. But I just got the original Thai version because I think it's smells good got some good old listerine but the natural kind because this is not as harsh um it doesn't burn as much <laughs> and it's la it's natural so it has less chemicals in it benny just got some bliss sex with spf though because he's always out in the sun for work so he needed that i got some more garnier micellar water i especially like this formula because it is good at taking off my waterproof mascara and makeup and it doesn't burn your eyes like i know i just got the purity one yesterday but i found that it didn't work as good as this stuff so the purity one i'll just use for all over my face but this is especially good for around the eye area you need air freshener for the bathrooms people two pack of air freshener self-explanatory uh this next item we got because We've seen it on TikTok and Instagram stories and reels. And basically for the toilet, people puncture a hole in this, put it in the toilet tank, and it releases every time you flush the toilet. So not only one does it keep it clean or clean it every time you flush, it also makes it smell good. So we're gonna try that little hack. So we got two of these for both the bathrooms. It's exciting stuff, right? <laughs> um, we got some steak. Benny is actually going to be making some steak tonight, but not just any steak. We got the Wagyu steak. Look at the marbling. Look at the marbling of the steak. That's when you know it's good. It's got that good marble. But the Wagyu steak at um, Walmart, y'all, it's like their premium steak, so it's really good. Y'all need to try it. It's literally like butter in your mouth. Oh, let me show y'all what you gonna make it with. Hold on. So at Publix, they make these stuffed mushrooms and it is stuffed baby bellas with artichoke spinach and a cheese blend but y'all these are so good you just what do you pop them in the oven right 
I think you just pop these in the oven, but we're gonna eat this with steak. It's gonna be so flipping good. So good. Um, Benny got these things for when he's working. They're actually kind of good. I never had the Chipotle flavor, but it's the, um, the tuna and crackers. These are kind of like a good little pick-me-up kind of snack or whatever. I got my favorite Starbucks K-Cups, which is the caramel kind, and Publix has the best price. It's a 22-pack for $15, which... I mean, sometimes you can find these things at Ross, TJ, Marshalls for pretty good prices too. But whenever I'm at Walmart, I just grab some there because it's a really good price for these. So, I grab those every time. They have vanilla and caramel, but I always get caramel. Some lemons. I got lemons because I need to get back on drinking my lemon water. Plus, I use it for my avocado toast. Speaking of avocado toast, I did pick up some Haas avocados as well. I always have to have avocados. I think too much of anything is like not good for you, but ugh, avocado toast, like I could eat it every day. Like I almost do eat it every day. This is the, uh, the water we get Sebastian. We get him the big jugs of Zephyr Hills because we drink spring water. He drinks spring water too. I'm not gonna get him nasty old tap water. Ew, gross. For my sweet tooth. <laughs> I got some drumsticks, the variety pack, because I like to keep ice cream in the freezer. I know I shouldn't, but I like to keep ice cream in the freezer. So most of the time, I don't know about y'all, thumbs up this video if you need something sweet after dinner. Like I literally have a sweet tooth after every dinner meal that I eat, whether we go out to eat or we're at home, like I need something sweet. Benny picked these up. I know these are not like the best things for you, but for him to just take in the bre for breakfast in the morning so he doesn't have to like stop at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever. So he got those just to grab and go. Lastly, I don't know if y'all have ever, if you have never, you need to go buy this like right now, like pause this video, go buy it and then come back and watch the rest. So this brand, Evol, I don't really like the name of that. Um, oh, it spells love backwards. <gasps> Babe, I think that's what this is. What? This brand, Evol, it spells love backwards. I don't know if that means anything, but that's kind of cool. I just noticed it in the camera. <laughs> I sound like such an airhead, y'all. But their freaking truffle parm mac and cheese is so amazing. Like, I love it. It has like the little breadcrumbs and parmesan on top but this truffle mac and cheese is so amazing like i think i buy this every time we go grocery shopping so i got one for me benny is not really particular about it whatever but i got one for me and one for asia because these things are so freaking bomb like so bomb i got these two by amy's uh they're organic pesto tortellini bowls these are really good too since i work from home i'm not trying to sit here and cook my lunch but you know i'll be working on the computer so i don't got time to sit here and cook either so i just pop this baby in the microwave just like the mac and cheese and these are so yummy if you've never had this you need to try it i'm telling you now you're welcome and then i just got some garlic bread this walmart bread okay I don't really like Walmart brand stuff. Call me bougie if you want to, whatever. But it be letting me down. Like, as far as food products go. Like, I'm just... Uh, uh, uh. Um, but these garlic breadsticks from freaking Walmart are so delicious. They're so soft. They're so garlicky. And I absolutely, absolutely love them. What else? Oh, you guys. I gotta show y'all what I got. I don't want him to come out here and bark before I end this video. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what I got at TJ, TJ Maxx. I got a few things from TJ. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me actually put this stuff away before my ice cream melts and all that good stuff. Hold on. All right, so real quick, I just wanted to show y'all what I picked up at TJ Maxx. So, you guys already saw the little, um, the next toy. <laughs> we couldn't resist. The toys are just so cute. So uh, we got this little thing for Bash. It says SS Zippy. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be 
uh yeah okay okay so it's a little like boat like a little steamboat and it comes with three little sharks and you shove them in there and the dogs go crazy trying to get them out so another burrowing toy and i like that we can like shove other little toys and stuff in there too um i got these two adidas hats because i needed a white one it looks like this it just has a smaller logo and this was 12.99 and then I needed another black one because my other black Adidas hat is faded. So this was also $12.99, but this one is obviously black and uh, with a white logo. I um, found these freaking cute ass body suits. Oh my gosh. So this first one and the material is so freaking soft. Uh, the neckline looks like this. I just love the straps on it and I like that it was like a halter or spaghetti um i hate that it has like the regular bottoms it's not like a thong so you're gonna see these but i'll just hike it up like it's a thong but yeah this material is so soft like how much was this was this was 9.99 and i wish i, I need to tell y'all the material because it's just it's 96 percent polyester and four percent spandex but it's like the soft i don't even know how to describe it but yeah so just a white bodysuit again 9.99 9.99 like how could i say no to 9.99 what else oh another bodysuit and they they like the the softness of them reminds me of the skims um bodysuits but not the skims price so i got another one another bodysuit 9.99 but it's a nude color and this is the top of it and it um is really soft as well it's like the regular tank uh but this one is a thong bottom which i don't know why that one wasn't it's the same brand but whatever damn i didn't realize i got so many bodysuits i got another one but i got this one because it's on clear it was on clearance for four dollars from 9.99 to four dollars so it's kind of like a mock turtleneck i guess you can call it and it has this really cute leopard print on it i thought this was just so cute but it's also like that tank type of um cut and i don't know i just thought this would be cute with some jeans and some heels for like a casual dinner or something and it also has a regular bottom but i just thought this was so cute four dollars four dollars girl damn i got another okay i got another bodysuit <laughs> this one and they're all by the same brand some brand called gaze downtown la um this one was 9.99 this is so freaking perfect for spring but it is yellow again it's that super soft polyester <laughs> i thought it was gonna be some amazing material just polyester but anyway it's super soft and this one has the thong bottom but it is the really cute tank top kind of cut so i believe that is the last bodysuit that's it for the bodysuit what else did i get oh i got these cute earrings um they are by rachel zoe i don't know if you can see that anyway Rachel Zoe, but I got them because it, I have the set in gold, but I needed silver for when I wear silver earrings. So this was only $19.99 and it comes with hoops and studs. Matter of fact, these like rectangular, where's the rectangle studs? Oh, these rectangular studs right here. I'm actually wearing them in gold today right here. So, oh, like half my makeup is gone, you guys, because my mask and I don't got time to fix it for y'all. So I needed the silver set. So I got the silver set and it is sterling silver. And again, $19.99 for all those earrings. It's pretty good. I always buy loofahs or poofs from TJ Maxx because if you have a really good ones so and they'll be coming in two packs, these are only $3.99 for two. And me and Asia, you know, you're supposed to change them every 30 days, right? If you didn't know, now you know, because bacteria build up and all that stuff. So you're supposed to change your loofahs every 30 days. So literally every time I go to TJ, I buy loofahs. So, and they come in really pretty colors. And I also got, and I just realized this came with like, a, oh, that's so cute. Okay. I got three things of shower caps. Shit. I got three things of shower caps because... I wanted to try some different ones. I usually get the ones at Sally's because they're like extra big and I think they're called like, the brand is called like Hipster or something, but they're extra large shower caps and I have thick, long hair. One is curly, which I don't usually wear curly, but even when it's in a bun, like I need a bigger size shower cap, not just a regular size. So I got these cause they all said they were like big or whatever, but this one was just so pretty. Like the print, oh my God. 
look at the print that is like super bright but it's got like butterflies and roses and i just and it's pink hello <laughs> um and i just thought this was so pretty so this is one and then i got this other one it is blue and i believe these are oh and it has a suction look at that this one was uh how much was this one i think all the shower caps were 3.99 so this is the print on this one it's like this really pretty blue tie-dye print it also comes in this case where you can put like suctions on the back so it's like storage inside your shower so you can put it on the suctions and keep your shower cap in here and then the third one i got is also really pretty and girly and fun too it's just pink with roses and these are the sections i was talking about so you stick this on your shower wall somewhere and then this is actually a case to keep it in when you're done using it so all of these were 3.99 and i found that lately at tj they've had a bunch tj and marshall's actually have had a bunch of these kind of shower caps um i say um too much lastly at tj i got three belts because they were like amazing prices so this first one and they're all um vince camuto so this one was only 9.99 but i love the gold uh detail and the shape of this buckle here and i like the what is that like a crocodile print alligator print yeah anyway so all of them are a size small but this is normally $32 and I got it for $9.99. So again, I got another like cognac color one. It is that same kind of like snake print, crocodile print. This one was actually $12.99. I don't know why, but the reason that I got it is because this one has a square buckle instead of that like horseshoe one. Um, same, same, but different, you know? Uh, yeah. And then, was this one reversible? I thought yes okay so this one is reversible okay both the square ones are reversible so i got the same belt also if i knew it was reversible maybe i wouldn't have gotten two of them um <laughs> got the same one in black this one was 12.99 as well right yeah 12.99 but it has the square gold hardware and um on the other side it is the freaking cognac color that i thought i might just return that one i don't know you can never have too many belts right especially tan or black i wear belts like every time i wear jeans i put on a belt so that was it for tj maxx and i picked up just two things at ross i didn't get this for me i got this for asia i think she's really gonna like it it's so cute but it, it's a bodysuit <laughs> but it was only 6.99 bro i was like 6.99 and it's a really stretchy huggy material but i just like the top of it this was so freaking cute um this one is a thong bottom which i'm not particularly fond of her wearing something like that but she's literally gonna be 18 in less than a year you guys actually like she's gonna be <laughs> my baby's gonna be 18 in eight months bro oh my god i feel like her birthday just passed anyway that just made me really sad <laughs> okay don't think about it so yeah i got her this bodysuit because i think she's absolutely gonna like this and this is like super cute and plus i could borrow it too they didn't really have much at ross but that bodysuit what did i say yeah 6.99 lastly at ross oh my god these were such a good find i got these rachel zoe freaking slippers they're like rose gold with rhinestones all over them but like different kinds of rhinestones like the little tiny rhinestones and then you have like the baguette shaped rhinestones don't baguette rhinestones but i just thought these were so freaking cute and these were only 24.99 and they have like a really tiny little heel and i mean i know i say it all the time but south florida be hot girl it'd be hot so i like wearing my sandals having my toes out with a nice pedicure if you live in florida you better keep a pedicure on you all the time okay your toes better be did if you're wearing sandals so yeah i thought these were just so freaking cute and fun and like rose gold and rhinestones like that's a no-brainer anyway that was all i got from tj and ross today and groceries and all all that good stuff uh i did not like that freaking boba tea i was just like not a fan like i took the sips that y'all saw me take that's all i took and then i threw it away and then benny's freaking ice cream 
like he ate half of it it was so much like it was a lot like it didn't look like a lot but it was a lot he ate like two of the little roly-poly things and then we threw out the rest and i know that's like really bad because it was wasting but it was so much and it's not like we could save ice cream while we out um, I was unsuccessful at finding a vase to match that one that I got yesterday at Crate and Barrel. So what I might do next weekend, I might go back and get that other black vase. Benny ain't gonna like that, but I'm gonna get it anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. We're going to make dinner. Well, Benny's gonna make dinner. I don't cook, Benny's the cook. Thank you, Jesus, for a man that could cook. I gotta give Sebastian his toys, his two toys, oh my God. This boy is so spoiled, y'all. So look, y'all, with these little burrowing toys, what you basically do if you have a dog, like you have to get them these toys. They're so fun. So you just put the little... I know he heard that. I have him closed in the room so he wouldn't be barking throughout this whole freaking video. So you put the little toys in here. You just shove them in here like this. And there's like usually two holes that they can <laughs> grab it out of. And he basically goes crazy trying to get them out of here. Did you hear these little toys? How he be taking this thing out? It'd be so funny. <laughs> Get him out, Bash. Get him out. Dig him out of there. This literally keeps him entertained forever. All you gotta do is keep putting him back in, and he takes the time to take him back out every single time. He got him, you guys. He got all three of them out. <laughs> I could just watch Sebastian play all day. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> he be using the little arms, y'all. <laughs> Why you keep getting close to me, bro? This is a candle we're currently burning, the eucalyptus mint. Obviously, it smells really good because it's almost done. Matter of fact, I'm about to burn it right now. Y'all, I'm gonna use this little, the candle wick trimmer I got yesterday at, uh, what was it, what's the place? Oh, Crate and Barrel. All right, I've never used a candle wick trimmer before. I don't even think this one needs to be trimmed, honestly, but I just wanna use this and feel fancy. So I'm gonna use it. Bloop. Oh wow, that trim's so easy. Let's do this one. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to let it drop in there like that. Light this baby up. If you guys like really fresh, clean scents, Eucalyptus Mint is one that I highly, highly recommend. If you like sweater weather and scents like that, then you're definitely gonna love Eucalyptus Mint. I completely forgot to unbox my Prada bag that I got last weekend, you guys. So why don't I just unbox it now? My very first Prada bag, you guys, all thanks to babe. Here, luckily, we have a Prada outlet store um, at the Sawgrass Mills Mall. They have a Gucci outlet store, Versace, like... All those brands, they have an outlet store. The only one they don't have is a Louis outlet store. And I'm sad about that, but that's okay. So, in my Prada bag is another Prada bag. That's Sebastian playing with his toys. It's Sebastian. <laughs> There's nothing in there for you, okay? That's, that's mommy's, that's mommy's. It comes in this nice white, cotton Prada dust bag. I don't think I, sh I didn't show you guys the one that I, I ended up um, actually choosing. So, <laughs> and what else is that? So I got a bag that I thought I could get a lot of use out of. I can either wear it as a clutch, I can wear it as a crossbody, I can even tie it up and use it as a shoulder bag if I want to, but I ended up with this one, you guys. So it's black, and I wanted something with the classic Prada emblem right here. So I especially chose this one because it has a touch of their classic Saffiano leather, and I just love the size of this bag, like my card holder, my glasses, my, what else I gotta put here? Lipstick or something, whatever, um, can go and fit in this bag. And the straps are, hello. All right, let me just take off this styrofoam. The strap is this really nice gold chain. Y'all know, y'all already know, Sebastian, how I feel about 
chain straps. So it has this nice nice gold chain strap and I just thought this was so freaking beautiful so what I was saying before I was really interrupted is Sebastian if I want to wear it as <laughs> if I want to wear it as a shoulder bag I could kind of just tie this like into a knot and it could fit like right under my shoulder. But yes, you guys, this is the bag that I went for. I didn't go for one of the quilted ones because I might wanna go back and get one, but I thought I would get the most wear out of this. Like I said, I could wear it as a clutch, I could wear it as a shoulder bag, I could wear it as a crossbody. I would get multiple, you know, different looks out of this one bag, but yeah. I love it so much, just as Prada in gold. And you can never go wrong. You can never go wrong with a black bag. Like you just cannot, like black or nude goes with everything. Oh, I didn't show you guys the inside. So, and I can take off this, these, um, this strap if I want to. So you open it like this and I gotta take this off. And I thought it was just a really good size. So you open it like so. Let me take out this paper. This is mommy's boo boo. This is from mommy. No, this is mine. So the inside just looks like this. It has the word Prada in it all over. And it also has, um, it has a pocket. It has a pocket right here. This is the main part of the inside and a zipper right here. And just a little Prada logo right here also. So yeah, I just thought this was going to be classic, timeless. It's nylon, so it's less expensive, even though it was a little bit more expensive because it had this, um, the Safiano leather on it. But if you guys have like the outlet stores near you, definitely if you wanna make like your very first designer bag purchase, check out if there's an outlet store by you because they will be hundreds of dollars cheaper than going to buy what's in the actual store so check out the outlet stores first i'm in love i'm in love with it thanks again babe <laughs> is that how i sound <laughs> that <was bad. laughs> he's like i don't care about that shit um so yeah my first product bag you guys i'm so excited i love it so much i love it so much <laughs>